I've started game dev for the first time three years ago with the GitHub Game of 2019 jam. I made a simple platformer where your field of view would reduce if you didn't move enough. While I'm proud of having created <laughs> this game, it's not amazing, let's say. So I wanted to challenge myself and recreate it in three days to hopefully make it better. It'll probably be challenging as platformers and pixel art are not my cup of tea. To make the challenge harder, I'm doing it around Christmas, so I had to stop to celebrate. I don't know if it's a good idea. You'll be the judge on this challenge. When the video is released, you'll be able to play both games and you'll tell me if I managed to make the game better. Let's see if I progressed as a game dev in the past three years. I was surprised to be able to reopen the project with the latest Godot version three years after, without any problem. So let me launch the game to show you where we're starting. This is Flamer, a platformer where you have to continuously move to keep your field of vision. This game is special to me because it was my first and I learned game dev while doing it. Thanks to that, I'm here today with a released game trying to make a living out of game dev. The theme of the jam was leaps and bound and I clearly remember not being super inspired by the theme. I'm not sure I exploited it correctly here Year, but hey, it was my first game and my first jam. If you try the game, and you can because it's still on my itch page, you'll see that the controls are not tight enough for a platformer. Visually, it's not amazing, and I think there's too much space between the things. I think I want to be closer to something like Celeste or Run. Beside the look, the levels are hard, but not in a fair way, I think. Other than that, I think the game is okay. Art is not amazing, but it was the first time I was making pixel art, and the last, and my character doesn't look too bad. I have a menu, pose, and even setting. There's controller support, some visual effects when you die, music, sound effects. Honestly, I'm quite surprised I managed to implement all of that. Okay, so now that we've seen what the game was, I can start working on it. I want to focus on three things here. The level design, the game feel, and the pixel art. Alright, let's start. Okay, so this is day one. I think I'll focus on the character controller for this day and maybe start a bit of pixel art just to give me a break and get familiar with this software. During the jam, I used an online tool called Piskill and it was great and most importantly free. This time, I think I want to use Aceprite. It seems to be the tool for pixel art. Time for some coding. See ya. The next day. All right, guys. So for you, it's probably the first day, but for me, it's actually the, the second day. Uh, to be honest, I started working on it yesterday. I had about two hours to work on it, so it was not really useful. I started working with a state machine add-on that I was that I found, uh, but I, I wasn't getting anywhere. And I'm going to use the old state machine that I used in the in the project three years ago. I will catch with you just after doing the state machine, right? Let's go. Alright guys, so I worked more on the state machine and I have something that works right now. I still need a bit of tweaking, but I'm much more satisfied with how it's looking. I've also added a simple tile to make a little prototype scene where I can test the different mechanic that I have for movement. So this is how it works right now. I'm going to show you on screen, of course. So I have jump, I have a double jump. I can dash. And I can wall jump. It's pretty good, the movements are nice. It still needs a bit of work to make sure that it's working perfectly fine. And then I can move on to adding some tiles, maybe doing some game design and adding some juice. Let's go. I also took the time to re-implement the vignette shader and the basic logic to make it grow over time and shrink when you move, jump and dash. It's now day two and I'm pretty happy with what I achieved yesterday. Today I'll focus on some pixel art and level creation. Level design is super important for a good platformer and I think this is somewhere I can really improve. It's also the 24th of December, so I'll have to stop working at some point to go eat some good stuff for Christmas Eve. 
I decided to recreate two things that were in the original game, moving platforms and moving circular saws. It's the first time I'm using a sprite and honestly it's not too hard. I'm not super efficient but I enjoy creating the tile set a lot. I'm redoing my character idle animation in a much smaller resolution than I originally did. Honestly this is the most challenging stuff so far. Pixel art is not easy and it's very time consuming. I'm not 100% happy with the result but it'll do. I'm then working on the first level. As I'm creating it, I make sure to test often to see if it works well. I want it to be relatively easy to make sure that they understand how it works and that they will continue on level 2 easily. Alright guys, so I think I've made quite a lot of progress. I'm pretty happy with uh, how it's looking right now. I've basically worked on the first level. I think it's nearly done. It's going to teach the player how to jump and how to dash and how to double jump also. It's, it's looking good. I, I'm pretty happy with the pixel art. It's not amazing, but it's looking good. I'm still tweaking the movement though, as it's not perfect. It's not exactly how I want. And as I, as I was working on the first level, I had the idea to, to add some sort of collectibles, like the strawberries that you would have in Celeste. And so I'm going to design that and going to add one or two in the first level. I will draw some sort of portal to the end of the level to show you that it's the end and that it's finished and you need to go through the portal to get to the next level. Okay, so let's go and do that. Alright, so I think this is going to be it for today. I need to go celebrate Christmas. So I will see you tomorrow. So for you, it will be tomorrow. Before that, a quick word from our sponsor, Brilliant.org. Game development is a creative and technical field with a lot of complexity, and many talented people can be scared, especially of the coding aspect. But Brilliant is here to help with a range of fascinating courses that can help you in your learning journey. From math to computer science, with thousands of lessons available and new ones added every month, you'll have access to all the knowledge and resources you need. The bite-sized lessons, storytelling, and interactivity make it the best way to learn complex topics such as computer science. The curated course Programming with Python guides you with learning one of the most in-demand programming language, from knowing nothing to coding fundamentals. It will guide you from curiosity to mastery through interactive challenges and problems to solve. Start learning and improving your skills today with Brilliant by visiting brilliant.org slash Mr. Elliptic or click on the link in the description to get started for free. The first 200 of you will get 20% off Brilliant's annual premium subscription. Day 3, I have the character movement and the systems in place so I can focus on level design and adding some juice. I started by adding the missing sprites to my character. I'm not super satisfied, but at least it looks less stiff with multiple sprites like this. I like the idea of having just a ball of fire for the dash. I'm adding a bit of squash and stretch to my animation to make them more interesting. When you jump and when you land, the sprite deforms. I think some pixel art purist would hate that because you deform the pixels. But hey, my time is limited so it'll do. Level design is time consuming but very satisfying. In a couple of minutes you go from nothing to something playable. On level 2, I introduced the moving platforms and I made sure to have longer jumps, forcing you to use the dash and double jump. The level 3 is the combination of everything. It's more challenging and there's now the moving saws that will force you to time your jumps correctly. The last thing I'm doing is juice. For that, I'm first adding a slight offset on the camera depending on the direction you're in. I think this adds dynamism while giving the player more visibility on where he's going. Then I add camera shake. I'm only using it when dying and when dashing. Talking about the dash, I want to make it more powerful, so I'm layering multiple things. First, I add a bit of screen shake, then I add dash ghosts acting as a trail. And finally, I add some particles. 
With that, I think the dash looks much more interesting already. To make the level slightly more interesting, I've added some small dust particles on the whole screen and a bit of fog using a scrolling noise texture. I've also added some lights on the levels, again, to make them feel less bland. And with that, I completed the challenge. You can see the result on screen and honestly, I'm pretty happy. I think I managed to make the pixel art a bit better, I like the tile set I've created and the level design is much better. Finally, the game feel is just better. I feel like the controls are tighter and the game overall feels more reactive to what I'm doing. It could be even better with more time, for example with things that would react to the player moving through them. I decided to not rework the title screen, sound effects and music. The deadline was really tight and with Christmas in the middle, I didn't have a lot of time to finish the game. I thought it would be much more interesting to focus on things where I could improve. The original game had music and sound effects. While they were not amazing, I don't think I could have improved them that much. So if you play the game, please forgive me for the lack of sounds. You can try it now on itch and let me know in the comments below if you think I managed to remake the game but better in only 3 days. If you like this content, let me know and subscribe to not miss the next challenge. In the meantime, you can watch this video. Bye!